Hello, I'm Chris Harris, famous movie reviewer on Instagram. This is the one I think some people have waited for. As you know, I love Star Wars. This is Star Wars Attack of the Clones starring Hayden Christensen, the dude from Night of the Living Dummy 3, as Anakin Skywalker and Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Natalie Portman as Padme Amidala and Samuel Jackson as Mace Windu. Oh, gosh. This is how I became a fan of Star Wars. This is the first ever Star Wars movie I saw. Yes, I, this, yeah. Okay, so I do hate it. Okay, I don't think it's horrible. It's absolutely not horrible. A lot of people think it's horrible. It's not horrible. It's a bad film. It's definitely a bad film. But it's not horrible. The bad stuff is obviously there. The love thing between Anakin and Padme. Um, the I don't like sand line and stuff like that. Uh, I, I do feel like Lucas... Should have let Anakin be, let Hayden do whatever he needed to. He shouldn't have let him, like, you know, he shouldn't have fed him stuff. Like, uh, in my Pirates Can't Be a movie, movie review, I talked about how the director let Johnny do whatever he wanted to. That's what Lucas should have done with Hayden right here. Um, what else the bad? What else? The killing of the senator. I don't know why Palpatine would do that if he was already like he. Palpatine was so powerful anyway. He could have just you know took it over. He didn't need to kill the senator and stuff. Um. Yeah, but let's get to the good stuff because I do think there's a lot of good stuff. The fall of Anakin starts right here, and I love it. So he finds out his mother died. Spoilers, obviously. Is I do every movie review I do is spoilers. Uh, he finds out his mother died, and he slaughters the Tusken Raiders or the Sand People, whatever. Well, however old you are as a Star Wars fan, the '70s call them Sand People, the 2000s call them Tusken Raiders. Because that's what they are, Tusken Raiders. Um, he slaughters them. Uh, we see him, like, becoming Darth Vader, and it's so good. Um, that that's that. Mm, that scene was talking about how Obi Wan is jealous of, because he. Everyone knew Anakin was the chosen one. Like the whole Jedi Council knew he was the chosen one. Now. I do feel with Anakin, man, I do. If he's the chosen one, like, why hold him back? Like, you know. Um, the lightsaber duel between Yoda. We finally got to see Yoda, like, hold a lightsaber. I have mixed feelings about that. Again, it's a cool scene. Really cool scene. Finally get to see Yoda in action. But I do feel like Nostalgia Critic, um, when he said on his review of this film. He's so powerful. Like, why would he even need a lightsaber? Yoda could just, like, he's, Yoda's a dude who lifted an X-Wing with one hand. That's the Yoda. So, yeah. Um, we finally get to see the building of the clone army, which, of course, execute Order 66. Um, uh, so we finally got to see that happen in how Palpatine's whole plan is starting to shift um, forward. Um, and then we got to see how Boba became like Boba Fett. We got to see a lot of scenes to tie into the other movies here. So I did like that. Um, so again, is it a bad film? Absolutely. Uh, It's not, it's absolutely, a, it's absolutely a bad film. It's not a horrible film, but it is a bad film. Um, you know, 
it is what it is. Um, but they do, it does get better, you know, with 3. 3 was the best prequel of the Star Wars uh, movies. So that's going to do it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and may the force be with you.